Hi, I'm Steve Twombly with Automation Dynamics. I'm here at Clean Care in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to talk to you some about the system that we installed here about a year ago. We always capture all the data of the system to be able to run all the reports we need to be able to track production, to be able to track all the items going through the plant so that management has all the tools they need to be able to make the best decisions possible for the soil room. All right, I'm standing here at the bullet system at Clean Care. This is the main computer system that controls everything that happens with all the bullet bins. This is the main startup screen. This screen is primarily for any error messages that may occur. We do a lot of diagnostics on startup of the system. So if you see anything here, this would be where it comes up. And we're also seeing a little better bit of diagnostic information here as well. I hit continue. This screen is actually telling me everything that's going to the bullet. So right now in bullet bin one, I have 120 white tabletops. In bin two, I've got towels. In bin three, I've got spun 54 inch tabletops, so on and so forth, as you can see down through here, for all of the 10 bins. And I can scroll down through here and see what's going on. So this is which collector bin, which bullet bin, the description of the item going into that bin, the weight of all the items that are in the sling at this time, and then the item number. So once we get past this, this is just another way to see what's happening in the system, but we can see it in another way in what we call the drop control screen. So here at the drop control screen, I'm gonna scroll up to bin one, collector bin one, and here what we see is there's 14 pounds in the buffer bin right now with a maximum of 20. So when it hits 20 pounds, we'll actually drop that out. There's currently 20 pounds in the sling and this one is going to a maximum of 210 pounds. When it hits 210 pounds, we'll actually tell that sling to go on and go to wash out storage. And then while the buffer bin is dropping into the sling, we actually capture those counts into the, the upper bin. This way we have continual soil counting going on at the count tables. There is no stoppage of any kind. In here, we can open the bin, close the bin, we can resync the bin, which means they set everything back to zero. I can zero just the sling if I want to. I can just initiate a dump on the bins and I'll actually hit that just to watch it go through. You'll actually see the 14 pounds, it will move from the buffer into the sling weight and you'll see that happen a little bit as the system cycles the doors open and close. Once you see these dumping and close go away, you'll see this go over and so now you see 34 pounds is now in. While we were moving that, we actually had another two pounds come into the buffer. So you can just see how the items flow through the system. I can go down through here on any of these and look at what's happening. Like I said, open and close the bins, resync, zero them out, dump, release the sling and send it on to the wall cell storage if we need to do that. And then we can open and close the buffer. So this is the functionality of the system and it's very, very simple for an operator to use and come over here and just see what's going on at any time.